Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Victoria Conde and these are the headlines we are tracking at the moment. The lawmaker representing Kano South, Senator Sumaila Kao, has revealed that he earns over 21 million naira monthly as a total take-home package. This revelation is coming barely 24 hours after the revenue mobilization allocation and fiscal commission said that each of the 109 senators in the upper chamber receives a total of 1.06 million naira in salary and allowance per month. Kao, in an interview on Wednesday morning, disclosed that although his monthly salary is about 1 million naira, his total take-home was 21 million naira, a wide margin from the figures quoted by RMFAC. And President Bolatinibu on Monday approved the national policy on health workforce migration to address the continued exodus of Nigerian doctors abroad. The policy announced by the Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Mohamed Pate, on his ex handle on Tuesday, aims to rule an estimated 12,400 Nigerian trained doctors practicing abroad. And the Taraba state government has issued a ban on the movement of Katu to and fro the Mambila Plateau in the Sadauna local government area following the confirmation of an outbreak of hemorrhagic septicema. This deadly livestock disease has already resulted in the deaths of over 1,000 Katu. In response, the state government, in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, has alerted neighboring states to take precautionary measures to prevent further spread. Now, the National Judicial Council, NJC, is set to meet on Friday, August 16, 2024, to decide on the successor of the outgoing Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukayode Ariwola. Ariwola is billed to bow out on August, 20, August 22nd, when he will attain the mandatory retirement age of 70. The NJC had fixed the meeting for Friday to deliberate on who will become the next CJN. And on business, the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, has assured Nigerians of stable and sustainable power supply in all parts of the country. He said that this in Calabar Cross River State on Tuesday when he paid an inspection visit to the Calabar Power Plant of Niger Delta Power Holding Company. Adelabu said that the federal government is consolidating on reforming the power sector aimed at ensuring stability of power across the nation. And on the foreign scene, Britain's annual inflation rate rose in July for the first time this year and is now back above the Bank of England's target, official data showed on Wednesday. The Office for National Statistics in a statement said the Consumer Prices Index climbed 2.2% in the 12 months to July compared with a 2.0% annual gain in June. And finally on sports, Benue State Government will host the 20 media officers of the Nigeria Premier Football League, MPFL clubs, this week. The two-day workshop built to take place in Makodi is scheduled for Thursday 15 to 16 August 2024. The theme of the event is the significance of media in the growth and success of football as a global business. These are the headlines making the rounds at this time. Join us again at the top of the hour for more stories. I am Victoria Conde. Bye for now.